All right, since we've been gone, the NBA Finals have started. So, Lakers 2-1 on the Heat. Heat went in the last game, and there is the game for tonight. Galvin, how are we feeling about the series so far? Um, I, so, like, of, like, you know, most folks watch probably where Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic got, both got hurt in game one. Like, game one was kind of a blowout, like, with or without them, it was kind of, you know, a rough, a rough look. But, the, but, like, they game two was, it was closer, and then, of course, they won in game three. Um, Dragic and, and Bam are probably not coming back, my understanding. Um, why did I forget the term? It was, let me look it up. But he basically, he, he functionally broke his foot. Oh, yeah, the uh, plant, planter flash, Fasher, planter yeah. flash items. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, he's, he's not coming back. He, he can't, like, I think it says he's able to put a bit of weight on it, but it's like, even if he can, he can't run and jump with that thing. Um, and I, I think they've been uh, called out for game four tonight. So, yeah, it's not looking good. Game four is tomorrow. tomorrow. Pretty sure, because yesterday was game three. I just watched <laughs> <laughs> Bro, all the days mix it together, bro. I understand. Um, anyway, though, um, so, and, like, I'm aware, like, people basically completely wrote the heat off after Dragic and Bam got hurt. Um, but especially after looking at game two, like, like, I'm not that surprised that they won game three. Like, it's a surprise that, like, you know, they're wildly, uh, like, they're, they're undermanned. And they were outgunned before dudes got hurt. But, like, I felt like they could probably get a game. They might be able to get another one. I don't know, though. Like, it's... Okay, it's like this. I think they can. Whether or not they will is an entirely separate question. Um, because in Game 3, Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson did not play well. At all. Um, Olenek has step, like, stepped up in games two and three um, a lot. And they're going to need more of that if they're to have any hope at all of doing any, like, taking any more games. Um, but, like, hmm? Yeah, at this phase in the game, at this phase in the game, I have no, <laughs> I have no, uh, I have no confidence in in the Heat getting another one. I don't think they can really win with Tyler Hero and uh, Duncan Robinson having bad shoot nights again. Nah. Yeah, because you need Jimmy to go supernova. And I don't, I don't know if Jimmy can give you 40 every night. Like, if we talk 30, maybe, but 40, a 40-point 40 triple-double at that. Like, yeah. No, they, their goose is cooked. It was, it was a gentleman's sweep. LeBron's respect. Like it, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it's a gentleman sweep. I just like I feel like at this point Jimmy Butler, for no other reason than pure mindset, is in a, is in a situation where he's probably going to hit them up for thirty or forty, and there's not a whole lot they can do about it. Not like they can try. Like he didn't take a he didn't even attempt a three last game, and he shot amazingly well, hitting tough shots. Like getting his fist, he he did everything, and he did it well. Like he outplayed LeBron. And like they and like they just they they did enough to win. Yeah. Oh no, bro. I expected so. I expected like a little bit more fight. Like, before the injuries. Like, I, I expected this to still be, like, five games. But I expected this to be, like, entertaining five games. Now, I do not take... Like, I, I don't even feel, like, pity. Like, because they deserve to be here. Like, they fought 
tooth and nail and they earned it. But to see them lose like this is kind of like, it's like gut wrenching. I know they just came off of a win, but like, like it's it's written like in stone. Yeah. It's like Kelly Olenek, really? He's your savior. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I mean, he doesn't have a choice. It's either that or they lose. Bro, I did a rewatch, and he was he was all hyped up on the court, and I was like, "This is what this is what we doing? We got Kelly Olynyk out here on the floor in the NBA Finals. Like nothing against Kelly Olynyk, but just like this is what it is. Like twenty minutes of you. Like I'm sorry. I mean, fairness to him, he's played well like the last two games. I know. But the person who would be playing those minutes if it weren't Kelly Olin would be Bam out of bio. I feel yeah. cheated. <laughs> like I, I'm not spending any money to to watch the games, but I'm just saying, like, this isn't what was advertised, yo. Yeah, yeah. but it's what you got. I don't like these shoes. <laughs> like, like and like, like one of my, one my things game. I figured before they won the last game. Game. It was like right. one of the things they got to do is they got to keep, um, like they have to keep Davis and Howard off the glass because they ate them like they they got bullied game one and they and game two like Davis had more offensive rebounds than he had defensive rebounds in game two like it was he had like eight offensive six defensive. And it's just like, if y'all want any chance of winning, you have to keep them off the glass. It just so happens that the best way to do that is to get Davis in foul trouble as early as possible. Yeah. That said, also, Nunn is not a good not good at boxing out. He tries, but he's just always late. And he gets called for it all the time. Yeah, I, I noticed that in, like, game two. Didn't it happen, like, two times, like, back-to-back? It was like, you. Something like, like that, yeah. They attention. Yeah, but they got to keep them off the rim, too. Like, uh, like the opening game for game three was just Dwight Howard dunking. And I was like, how did he even get down that fast? Like, that, that happened, like, three or four times. It just, like, they just don't have enough size, bro. They don't, but, like, also something I noticed um, in game two in particular was, like, I... I don't know how much Howard does it, but I noticed that, like, Davis and also to, like, to a less extent LeBron will, like, like kind of camp out down there right behind the rim, like, in the middle of the defense. And, like, you, kinda, you can't really let them do that, and you certainly, like, can't just... Uh, like, granted, when I saw... One of the times I saw Davis do it, like, Hero was aware of where Davis was. But the pass came to the dude on in the corner, and he has to go and defend. And I don't think anybody else was really aware that Davis was down there. It didn't seem to be. And, like, I think the dude, whoever shot it, missed the shot, and Davis just, like, one step, put back. And it's just, you can't let that happen if you're the Heat. Now, if you're the Lakers, of course, you love it. It's easy. Like, he can just, coat, like, chill down there an entire offense possession and still score for you. But like, yeah. um, but LeBron was hot after after Game Three though. Like you could, I could just tell he was, he's he wasn't happy about that loss. Like he's gonna, they're gonna hear an ear- earful from him from now until Game Four, and they're also just gonna come out harder Game Four. Like it's just you just know it's going to happen. Right. <clears throat> What's the over on? Over under on LeBron scoring thirty. Um, are you saying like what? Which one would I take? The yeah. Over or under? Yeah. Um, over. Hmm. I think I'll take the under. And like assuming that they assuming Davis doesn't get in foul trouble again, he's just gonna like put up a whole bunch of points. That's probably what's going to happen. LeBron's still going to have, like, probably still going to have, like, 25 and, like, a triple-double. But, yeah. Yeah, bro. 
I think best case scenario is probably a six game series. Like best okay, best realistic scenario is a six game series. Best possible scenario is a seven game series. The Lakers probably win anyway. Oh yeah, regardless, I th- I think this this goes down at uh as a Lakers thing. If if anything else happens, I do not know if I I will like that's all heat. Like that would be the this would be one of the craziest finals if something just flips. Like I have no faith that it will. I just like playing what if games. Yeah, like it's like yeah, they're they're probably gonna lose. I like like I just at the moment I just like the idea of them winning, even though I also like the idea. Well, I mean at this point LeBron kept up his final the whole finals thing. This is what his ten finals in like eleven years or something. Yeah. And so like now it's, and, and and at this point it's the it's the Lakers ring to lose. And and like LeBron is hot and as always, Rondo doesn't fold. Like it's not in his vocabulary, he doesn't know how to do it. Um and he's not going to light you up. He's going to hit at this point I think he's gonna hit like one crazy shot a game and then just like get like ten assists and just like call it a game. Well, if he like if they're in a comfortable position. Otherwise he's actually gonna start trying to score. And you got other issues to deal with, but Game Six Ronda. That's all I gotta yeah. say. That's that's why he's my favorite point guard. But uh, let's talk about some other news in the NBA. Doc Rivers as head coach of the Seventy Sixers. Right. Where you at on that? It is probably the best option that they had because, as we previously talked about, everybody who's better than him. Is he either already has a job or is retired? Um, and like, 